Hey, hello everybody, welcome to my channel, Tom here, T and BH Gaming. Uh, guys, welcome, um, hope you're having a, 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 hope you had a good week, and it's Friday, well it's actually Saturday morning now, um, so hope you had a good week, and a and better weekend. Um, today we're in Railroader, guys, uh, we're going to take up where we left off there, we were on the tutorial finishing up the tutorial which we will finish today uh, so without further ado guys let's jump into it okay so there we go all right so where to go from here Whittier and Ella are happy to have the railroad back and when you're ready the communities to the west will welcome you with their business how much you expand is up to you several bridges were destroyed by the flooding preparing them will take money to purchase the materials and our railroad to move the materials to repair the sites. Uh, in the company window, open the milestones tab. Put this up here out of the way. Go to the milestones tab. Um, tab and select the first milestone repair L bridge. So let's go ahead and select that. Uh, okay. And we, I've already, I've already, uh, accepted it it would cost a thousand dollars and we're on phase one of we'll start phase one of three we'll get that the next time they interchange the uh, track um, each milestone has several phases when you're ready to for more railroad pay for the available phase and materials will be delivered to interchange the next day once those materials are delivered to the site the phase will be available most milestones expand the reach of your railroad, but some bring exciting technologies to the line. How you expand is up to you. Okay, other ways to grow. Perhaps you'd like to look into adding some more power to your railroad. Shift, excuse me guys, Shift T opens the equipment purchase window. Uh, the equipment purchase window window next equipment is delivered new equipment is delivered to the interchange uh, so anytime you buy new equipment and it's delivered to the interchange immediately you don't have to wait till the next day but this is all the all the locomotives here um, he goes from the G16 mogul which we have and the 10 wheel these are the two we have right now and then you got the Pacific and another 10 wheel and a switcher consolidation another mogul Atlantic, I like the Atlantic, that's a nice engine. Uh, according to, and you got the logging tank Mikado and the logging Mikado to Pacific, uh, a deck pod, another consolidation, another switcher, another consolidation, and of course the Berkshire. The Berkshire is the big monster, 64,000 pounds or 65,000 pounds of tractive effort. And you'll need that, guys. There's hills on this. I've, I've gone through my live stream, and I invite you guys to go look at my live stream if you, uh, Hit that notification bell, like, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification bell, and you'll see whenever I'm live or whenever I post another video. Uh, but, yeah, I've seen some of the track. I haven't been on it yet because we haven't built the bridge to get there yet. But it's on the map. As a matter of fact, I can probably show you where it's at. Um, it's right in... Uh, right in here on the other side of Nantahala. Um This track right in here is, is a four point, uh, the last, highest one I've seen was 4.8 or 4.9% incline. Uh, that's pretty steep guys for, for a train and you're gonna need a lot of power to pull anything up that hill, even one or two cars. So uh, yeah, that Berkshire is gonna come in handy. And then of course it goes to the diesels you have the EMD SW1 and of course the EMD GP9. That's the monster of the diesel, 64,000 pounds of tractive effort. Uh, and then you have a couple, you have three coaches, actually four, because uh, you have three coaches and an observation car, passenger car. And then you have three cabooses, um, which right now the cabooses don't serve a purpose. That's why I have mine. That's why we put ours in the last episode. We put the caboose in the yard 
in the interchange to be sold because uh, we can use the cash more than we can use the caboose because it doesn't serve a purpose right now. Not saying that it won't later on down the line. Uh, I've heard rumor talk about uh, finding something that the the cabooses can do. You know that something that will you know, either give you more reputation or you know if you got it attached behind your passenger cars, it'll give you uh, uh, better prices in your car. Something like you know there just it'd be a lot of ways that uh, caboose could be in hand, come in handy but right now it has, serves no purpose so um uh class f50 these are the bulkhead for the um pulp wood cars uh and then there you have your uh, skeleton car for your logs and then these two are your hoppers for your for your coal to supply your uh, engines and then of course a single dome tanker that's going to be to supply your diesel when you do get a diesel uh diesel stand set up so and that is in the uh that is in the milestones too i believe diesel yeah diesel fueling stand to east whitaker uh and it costs 350 dollars we'll go ahead and start that phase two uh we don't have a diesel m engine but we can go ahead and get the diesel stand set up so uh the purchase tractor sylvia i think i'm gonna wait on that guys because that's uh if you notice let's see um we're in whittier right here this is the track to Silva. It's through Thomas Valley and Wilmot and Barkers and Coe and Dillsboro and Silva. And then this becomes the interchange when uh, when we purchase that. So so then anytime the next day when we enter when we got new cars at the interchange, it would pop up here instead of here. And so at this moment I'm gonna wait and let our interchanges come up here, maybe till after we get Ellos Bridge done or uh, maybe even later than that. I might wait until uh, there's another bridge right here that needs to be built too, I believe. So um, we'll, uh, or is it right there? It might be right here. Um, so we'll wait and, and see uh, how that works out. But uh, We'll, we'll wait and see how that works out so but until then i think we'll just stay right here we'll keep our, our exchange right here at whittier for the time being um so where would i leave off at okay finally you have the option to take out a loan at the company window and hit the finance tab and take out a loan in your company window your maximum loan amount is based on the value of your railroad equipment interest payments are 10 percent are due every five days you can pay down the loan at any time so you can get a loan here uh, you can go increments of five thousand or one thousand uh, right now our loan max is twenty thousand six eighty five but as your as your um, what's the word I'm looking for uh, as your equipment and and your reputation and all that goes up your loan amount will go up too but um, right now we have three thousand six hundred ninety two dollars um, only because I just paid uh, what thirteen fifteen hundred dollars for those two uh, two milestones phases and then um, the next uh, Tomorrow, when we do after the interchange and we sell the caboose, we will have another. I think we're getting. I forget how much we're getting for the caboose, like three or four thousand dollars. So that should bring us up to about seven grand. So that should be enough money to operate on until. Uh, until we start making some real money here. So next we'll go onward. You now have the tool. Now have the tools you need to get this railroad back up and running. Be swift and set out with your set outs and pickups. For your customers and they will reward you with more freight traffic uh yeah the um the you know as long as you deliver your freight cars on time and stuff like that then you'll get rewarded with higher tiers and higher tiers means more cars so uh, be reliable for your passengers and they will do their part to ease your path to growth serving them will be hard work 
but there is dignity in the hard work of a railroader. Good luck. Okay, well, I hit the wrong one. So there we go, guys. That's our tutorial. So right now, uh, the best thing we can do is let's go to locations. Let's go to the sawmill, and we're going to go right here to R1. I think that's our, yeah, that's our, our, uh, so we took the tier one contract here, so that means we need to start bringing them some logs. Uh, so um, what I'm going to do first before we run passengers is we're going to go get that, uh, go get our, uh, um, our train, our engine here. This one is in the shed, I believe. It's still at 70%. They haven't started working on it. They won't work on it until tomorrow. So we'll go get this one. And let's get rid of that. We're going to back up over there. And we're going to get them log cars, guys. So if we back this way up here. And we're going to back up here and we're going to get them log cars. And we're going to run them up to the logging camp and pick up some logs. And we're going to bring some logs down here and get them dumped into the, uh, into the log pond there and, uh, or the river. I don't know if that's a pond or, or part of the river, but we'll get them dumped in there, guys, and then we can uh, then we can start running some more passengers to make some more money until it's time to uh, sleep. And when you sleep, you just go here and you go to settings, and you can just wait one hour, which you can. I could sit up there at the log camp and just click one hour, one hour, one hour until it's loaded up with logs, and then bring them down. But you know, I could also be running passengers during that time and uh, making some money so um, even though passengers don't make a lot of money let's give him some more juice I'll go set this switch right here it's already set and there's our log cars and we got these switches are already set so we'll wait for our train to come back through here. And then we'll pull into that spur and grab those cars. <clears throat> Guys, this is a great game. Um, if you've been playing it or if you like what you see in this game, leave me, uh, leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Um, I, I invite you and encourage you to go to the uh, Railroader Discord and join the Railroader Discord and look up the Railroader YouTube page. I'll, I'll try to leave a link. Oh, I'm, I'm hauling butt. I better slow down. I will uh, leave a, try to leave a link in the description down below to their page. And uh, come on, stop. I'll try to leave a link to their page down below in, in the description or maybe I might even put a card up in there at the end, at the end of the video uh, be a card up in the corner of the screen uh, with a link to their page uh, but either way uh, I'll, I'll, I'll leave some kind of link to their page I, and I, I do encourage you guys to go check out their their YouTube page it has a lot of videos on from when before they even went early access when they were still just developing it there's a bunch of videos showcasing the game and what it does and and how it plays and stuff like that so uh, I definitely in, invite you guys to go encourage you guys to go look at that gotta slow down gotta slow down below five um, if you hit these at more than five mile an hour, more than likely you, you'll derail it and damage it, and you'll have to uh, you'll 
you'll have to put it in the shed to be repaired. But these are our cars. They belong to our railroad. So, and then we put, I believe that's part of the river, but we put, um, we put the logs in and of course they, uh, they suck them up through the, uh, conveyor there into the plant and cut them up into lumber and then the lumber is placed over and then we place cars over here and uh and they'll fill them up with lumber and then we take them back to the interchange to be changed out for new uh new empty cars at daily so there's usually cars at the interchange every day or every few days at least He's rolling back and we start putting on the brake here. We'll switch that switch. And this switch is already switched. And we need to switch this switch. And then before we go any further. We need to designate these cars, guys. So I can go like this and click on the car. And I'm going to operations here. And I'm going to set up this automatic waybills. So the loads are going to go to, so once the logs are on the car, they're going to go to the Whittier Sawmill R1. That's a spur we just pulled them off of. And the empties are going to go to, and I'm going to set these to go to Conley Creek 2. Now, Conley Creek 1 is closer, um, if I can show you on the map here. Uh, Conley Creek 1 is right here. It's a little spur right there, but you can only get four cars in that spur. So I take it to Conley Creek 2, which is this one, which will, you can get all eight cars in. And this is uh, Conley Creek 3 and the Popewood. Um, let's go to Conley Creek here. So, Conley Creek 1, that's this one here. Conley P1 is that one next to it. So, you put log, get logs off of one and pulp wood off the other. And then Conley Creek 2, L2 and P2 are right here. And this is L3, this little back spur where you got to back up into it. And then P3 and 4 are right here. And that's where you get pulp wood off of those. And this tells you what each spur produces, right, guys? You can get 12 cars and logs a day from L1. You can get uh, 5 cars of produce per day. And then you get 12 cars and logs from L2 and 5 cars of produce. And then 12 cars and logs from, from uh, L3. And then P3 and P3, P4 will give you 20 cars of pulpwood per day. So, we're going to dug and designate these all to go to get the empties from Conley Creek 2. And there we go. So we're set up. Destination Conley Creek 2. And we're going. Whoa, did that say incomplete? It did say incomplete. Let me try that again. Um, status incomplete. That's because we haven't done anything yet. And right here where it says copy to coupled. If I click on that, guys, copy to seven other cars. So now all of these cars are set to Conley Creek 2 so I didn't have to individually do each car and so with that said we're going to go here and we're going to take the brake off our engine I'm going to click on him so I'm going to follow so I can follow it and we'll take the brake off we're going to put it in forward and we're going Two whistles and the bell. And that's enough of the bell. And we're going to get this thing rolling. No more than 25 mile an hour because they're... Oh, wrong one. There is a 25 mile an hour curve right here going up into Conley Creek. So we're going to keep it under 25.
it's still gaining there bring it down to 43 percent and it's still gaining if we move this back we may gain some more yep we're at 21 mile an hour so as long as we stay we stay at 25 we're good 22 And three, I'm going to bring this down a little bit. Move the regular down. I don't want to keep gaining up speed there. If you go over the speed limit on these curves, guys, you will derail. And it does cause damage to your cars, and you will have to put them in the uh, shop and pay to have them fixed. And the more damage you have on something, like if you have a lot of damage on a passenger car, you will get less fare. The fare will be less for the car when, when passengers ride the car if it's damaged. So keep your stuff in a uh, good condition, guys. Same with uh, your uh, with your engine and stuff. It's not if it's not in a top-notch condition, you'll get let, paid less for the delivering freight and stuff. All right, so we're through the curves. So I'm going to bump this up a little bit. And I'm going to go up here and check my switches. Because that uh, number one track is coming up here pretty quick. I think it's right there. Oh, I thought it was right there. It's around one of these corners. That's up a lot further than I thought it was. There it is. So make sure we're the green. And we are. Oh, I didn't want to do that, but instead I'll do this. I'm going to go to L2. Boom. And that puts me at L2. And I just got to make sure this switch is set. And that switch needs to be set to go to L2. And this switch needs to be set to go to L2. And it is. And now we can go back to our car just by hitting 9. And we can ride on the end of the car here with the overhead cam. Or if we hit 0. Oh, I'm not on the, there. We hit zero, we can ride behind the engine. So, nine and zero, and it takes you to one end of the train or the other. So guys, this is a, uh, it's a great game, and it has a huge, huge map. I mean, just, I mean, you go all the way from Silva and these are your mile post guys so that's 45 there's 55 it's 10 miles just to get the other side of Thomas Valley and you're 65 just to get to over here to the other side of the other end of Bryson And you're 75 just to get down here between Brooks and Almond. So that year at what? 55, 65, so that's 30 miles right there. And then you're 85 to get here just before Nantahala. So that's 40 miles. And you're 95 on the other side of Rondo here. So that's 50 miles. So you're looking at 50, 53 miles to get to Andrews, 54 miles to get to Andrews. That's 54 miles of rail. That's a long distance.
for a steam engine. And especially up through the mountains, because when you get to the other side of Bryson there, around Hemingway, there's a pretty intense hill there. Um, now, I've done the great thing, and I'll show you guys. If I hold my mouse right here over this, and I hit shift and question mark, and you see that right now we're at a 1.3% grade and a 9 degree curve, 15 degree curve. Because that deg is uh, is uh, degrees of curve curvature, and then I think that 11, 582, and three. I think that's your coordinates, your uh, uh, your longitude and latitude. Not longitude and latitude, but your coordinates. But right now we're at a one 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 point eight percent, one point nine percent incline. That's why you see it slowing down, because it's getting. It's almost 2% grade right there. And as we all know, trains do not handle hills very well. Uh, I was born and raised 2% right there. 2.1, 2.2, just going 2.4, just going 2.5, 2.6, 2.7, 2.8. Two point nine. I need to slow down. I'm gonna run into the back of the Oh, slowed down too much. Come on. The brakes off. Got to get it in there to the back of the spur there. Boom, 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 boom. We're getting there. It's an incline. That's why I don't want to climb. We'll put the brakes on it there. Put our, and she'll start loading up with logs. So we're going to leave it there. And we're going back down the hill. standing I'm not sitting what's up with that I'm supposed to be sitting get in the seat there you go now I'm setting now I'm setting down and I haven't even put any uh, uh, I haven't even put any um, power to this thing yet it's just rolling backward Saving fuel. Saving fuel. Because we only got two and a half tons of coal and we got 33,000 gallons of water. So um, we'll be good to make another run from Whittier to Ella and back. Maybe two before we run out of coal. Because we won't have any more coal until tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. So, but we can run. It's uh, 3:07 in the afternoon in game, so we can run. Maybe at least one, maybe two more runs of passengers uh, to make a little bit of extra money, and then uh, when we get done running the passengers, we can come up here and get those logs. And put them in the, uh, bring them down and put them in the, in the uh, sawmill spur. And then tomorrow morning we'll get paid for them logs. And 
and we're doing 40, which is all right. Um, 35 is better, but it's starting to slow down, but we're going to slow down a little bit anyway. Derailed. I derailed that car. Told you guys. Hmm. Derailed that car. So now I have to get out. Because you have to do this in first person. You cannot rerail a car. Unless you're on the ground. So I got to get out of here. Jump down. Come on. And then shift R and we're re-railed. So we're not running any passengers today because that's at 51%. What is it? 96% for the train, 51% for the rent for the car. So um, we'll just have to keep an eye on it. I don't know. We can't. Um, <clears throat> derail because I put on the brake and it went around that corner at like 35 mile an hour. I was trying to break, but it's getting up again, so we're going to have to get some break on it. So I believe we're coming up yeah, in just a minute. We'll be coming up to that 25 mile an hour curve. So what we're going to have to do is call it a day guys we're gonna put this in the tender in the garage too and uh, work on some cars well, we may have to buy one we'll have to borrow money out of the bank purchase price eight hundred and seventy dollars for what That's a thousand dollars for that hopper. Um, how much is the Atlantic? Right now it's eleven five. And the Pacific, twenty thousand dollars for the Pacific. Twenty three for the consolidation. Yeah, I like that Pacific. All right, break, 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 break. Come on, slow down. Coming up on 25 mile an hour curve. So seeing as how we're going to have to put this one in the shop, guys, I think we're going to be, we're going to have to buy another engine. I didn't want to have to do that so soon. I didn't want to have to take out a loan. But, guys, that's what you get when you uh, don't take care of your equipment and you take a corner too fast. So... We will 
take this and we'll go equipment and repair each with your repair track and equipment and repair at each with your repair track. <clears throat> And I'll just keep that at 15 mile an hour. Slowing to 14, that's okay. We're gonna have to stop here pretty quick anyway. And get it down to nine mile an hour maybe down a little bit more to four or five to seven down to five and stop I ah, can't close those doors huh that's odd all right, so that means, guys, Pacifica. Oh, first we got to go take out a loan. Let's go go here. <clears throat> I don't need that. I need finances. And how much is that car? The Pacifica. Pacific is twenty thousand dollars. So one, two. Three, four, twenty thousand dollars, guys. And then we'll go boop. There she is, brand new Pacifica. What an engine! And uh, we got 5,000 gallons, uh, 5, gallons of water and six tons of coal in it right now. Can we put it in the water? All right, guys, let's, uh, let's jump out of this one. And go get in our new Pacifica and take a load of passengers. How's that? What a nice train, guys. Look at this. What a beauty. Western Hickory and Tennessee Railroad. All right. Have a seat in this thing. Boy, look at these controls. So let's see, we got our reverser, our independent, our, tr our train brake. That should be the cylinder cocks. Maybe not. Throttle. What's up? I like that. I like that. All right, so let's get her going, guys. We're going to pick that and follow. And we are going to Whittier Station to pick up a passenger train.
Whoa, 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 whoa. You get back in your house. Stay in your house. That's how we do that. Forward. Fourteen, I'll be good. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this switch here. And as soon as I get past the spur, I can pick up a little speed. Because we'll be almost out of the yard. Boy, she picks up speed pretty fast. something here guys I'm gonna go up here to this one and we're gonna run around and pick up this uh, this car here and it's a long way but And uh, I'll show you in a minute, guys, how to use the AI. Which is uh, Alfred Intelligent. And Alfred Intelligent, 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 uh, AI. <laughs> um. Take that off. Flying up through there. Wow, he don't stop very well. Holy smokes. That thing don't stop on a dime. I have to remember that. So we have to start slowing down way before we get where we want to be with this thing.
2. Come on, back in here. Well, I guess I can show you guys right now. So they'll take over for me. So you want the AI to run it, guys. You go right here to orders. And I'm going to tell him to go road reverse and give him a maximum speed he can go back with that. And now he can go backwards at 35 mile an hour. So when he's coming around here and he's getting close, he's going to get close to this car and then he'll stop. He'll stop before he gets, uh, before he bumps into that car. He's already started slowing down. So now we can go if we go yard and go five. Now, down here you see the status WHTR 250, Western Hickory and Tennessee Railroad 250. That's this car right here. See car 250? Right there, Western Hickory, Tennessee Railroad 250. He's going to back up into that. Hopefully nice and slowly. Four, yeah, he's under five. He was about four and a half mile an hour when he hit it. But I like to be when you're packing up into passenger coaches. And that's one whistle. That means he stopped. When you're backing up into passenger coaches, I like to uh, hit him about one, about, about one mile an hour. And open the gate so the, so the uh, passengers can get on. And then I'm going to go here and to click on that car, open up the passenger's window, and Ellis Station. And they should start loading up. Eight, nine. And if you swing around here, guys, and you click on there, it tells you how many passengers are at that station. So there's 17, there were 17, there's 15. No active freight bills in the area, but they had, uh, I'm 20 something passengers probably because they're at two. Um, yeah, we're old 30 because we're at 28 right now, 29. Okay, no more passengers. So now, guys, I can I go right here and click on this WHTR. I bring up our inspector window. I'm going to give this thing orders the road forward at 35 mile an hour so high speed it'll go is 35 and then we can watch it and sit back and let the ai drive the train and you can watch it like this you can watch it from the map up here And it will go to Ela. And then if we go to Ela, we can go locations, and we can jump to Ela Station. Click on Ela Station right there. This is Ela Station. And if we put a stop marker, whoop! Oh, I did that. If we put a stop marker right there then the train will stop 
before it gets to that fusee. And then it should be right in the area where the it's close enough for the passenger cars to load up. If not, you have to move, move the fusee and, and let the train move up a little bit. Uh, sorry guys, I had to get a drink. And now we can go back to our train and see where he's at on the map. So he's about a half a mile away from, uh, a little bit over a half a mile away from that 30 mile an hour curve he's coming up on. And if we go up here and look at our, go to our locations inspector again and check uh, Conley Creek and L2 and we are almost we need one more log so we'll go back to our train by pressing 9 or 0 to take us to our train guys we might get one motor passenger to run here today and then uh Probably call it a night. I'm gonna go ahead and change the time. So it is two to one already. Okay, so I left it on two to one. So yeah, you can. Uh, so you can change that, guys. To like here, you can change it two to one, four to one, six to one. If you put it on eight to one, then the time will move a lot faster. Look at that. Four to one. But we'll go back, we'll go back, put it back on two to one. Well, you can have it on one to one. One to one means if you take an hour to do something in the game, it takes an hour off the game clock. So it's right in line with the game clock. Other than being dressed properly it's still oh all right should be coming into Ella unless we're in that curve nope we're coming into Ella And I should. The proper thing to do is run up there and then drop and and then run around and pick up the car from behind and then back up. That's the proper thing to do. But I'm just gonna push back. All right. So we're right on the dock there, deck there. So we're close enough. Yeah, it's unloading. So it's unloading passengers. So I need to click on this, go to passengers, and I need to click Whittier. So it'll start loading the Whittier passengers as soon as the other passengers get off. And there's 23 passengers here waiting to go back to Whittier. All right, 23, we still unloading? Oh man. We have a ton of passengers. If we look up in the top left hand corner, guys. As soon as the passengers get done, it's going to pop up there and show us how much we made off of each passenger. And it should make a little sound. Think, click, click. So we made $29 for 29 fares. So had 29 people on the train, made 29 bucks. So town to town, it's not very profitable. Um, Town to other towns, Hemingway and all them. Uh, they don't need them way. I'm rambling off, guys. But anyway, so 23. And no passengers there. So I can tell. I can tell the AI got, AI 
engineer to reverse at 35 mile an hour and he will go back to Whittier Station. And we can move this fusee in case another train wants to come through here. There shouldn't be no other trains because all mine are in the shop. Speaking of, let's go to the shop menu here, guys, and find out East Wheeler Engine Service Station. So now it's going to take 21 hours to fix both of those cars for hiring 18 hours. So I have to hire four people, $60, to bring it down to 18 hours. Which means it won't even be ready. Well, then I'm gonna start working on it till six o'clock in the morning tomorrow, so it won't be ready till tomorrow night or the next day. Um, there we go. So guys, we'll get this back there and we will sleep and then next episode we'll, we'll sleep and on the next episode we'll go to sleep and then we'll get up at 6 o'clock in the morning and we should have an interchange full of cars to take. And now that we have extra cars, I won't have to carry all of them at once, although I believe this engine could do it. Because it, it, it is... Uh, What um, forty three thousand pounds of tractive effort? Yeah, I believe that's okay. I believe that ain't might even make it up what I'm calling Hemingway Hill. Um, I was trying to pull, I uh, couldn't do it. Um, I forgot I lost my train of thought, guys. Oh, talking about pulling it up a Hemingway Hill, I think. Yeah, yeah this one might do it. Um, the other ones I got wouldn't do it. I know in my live stream game, I had to triple that hill with uh, the 10 wheeler, the T17 10 wheeler, the G16 mogul, and the, uh, oh, what was that other one I had? Let me look at the list. It was the, uh, oh, the G25 mogul. I had all three of them hooked up in order to get up that hill. About 40, that needs put about 48,000 pounds of tractive effort, or a little more, just to get up that hill anyway. And even then, they struggled. And I didn't put a fusee at this station. So let's go to Whittier Depot here real quick. Because they're coming in hot. And if I put a fusee right there, he should stop at the station. And while we're waiting for him to come on around the bend there, real quick, I'm going to go to Colony Creek and I'm going to look at uh, L2. We have logs, guys, so we can go back and get our logs. So once I drop off this car, he stopped, and we're going to apply the brake. Unhook and then roll forward. And what I want to do 
here is go around and be here for this switch. You gotta go past this switch and then you go back up and go up and get some logs. Oh, that's how it's going to go. I was going to set him a switch. i got to set him a switch right here. Or a fusee, I'm sorry. That's the only way to stop your, uh, well, not the only way. There's two ways you can stop uh, an AI. Either set down a fusee or make him come up on a switch that's not set his way. So, right now, this switch is not set his way, so he will stop. No, he would roll on, I think. No, oh, let's roll on. See, now he's stopping because the switch isn't set his way. Now he's going to roll on. I don't know why that, how he got on that lane when that switch was set his way before that. Here's a long train. I'm going to have to reevaluate re how far I put fuses away. I don't know if he's going to get past the switch. He might. Yeah, he did. Oh, sorry guys, I'm tired. Um, it's been a long day. All right, so now let's... Yep, he stopped. So, road reverse. We're going to leave him at 35. As soon as he starts backing up, I'm going to res reset that switch. Because you should always leave your switches in the normal direction. See, it says... Switch reverse, so I'm going to throw it to normal, and it should always be in normal. All your switches should be in normal. That one's good. That one is good. That one is not set. That one's set right. So right there, he should back all the way up the hill to where them logs are. And just before he gets to him, he'll stop. And he's doing about 30 miles an hour. He's coming through. Yeah, he's coming through there pretty hard. like to see if he does the speed limit around that curve most of them do slow down the speed limit for this curve yeah he's slowing down now alrighty there's set I'm going to set that one back to normal. And why are you slowing down? Oh, this switch is set against him. That's what I was talking about, guys. See, that switch wasn't set right. And even though he's coming through it in reverse, if you're driving a train manually and you come through a switch in reverse that's not set against you, It'll just trip the switch over to the correct way. AIs will not do that. They will not go through a switch that's not set for them. So, always make sure your switches are set up ahead of time if you're running an AI train. How much do we have in our finances now? Um, 3,748. Not much more than when we started. But I gotta bring these logs down because. Which means I'll have to go back and put this on my. Uh, I'm not going back, but I mean, I have to go back and. Uh, set the switches for him 
because this is the spur he needs to be on. So there's two things I need to do. I need to throw that switch so I can go on that track. And I need to throw that switch so we don't go off into the wild blue. He slowed down to 21 for some reason. Hmm. Chugga, 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 chugga. Get up the hill. Alright, I'll tell you what guys, we're an hour in. I'm just going to take these logs whenever we get up here and drop them back down there in that spur. So, we're going to call it here guys. Um, thanks for uh, watching and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to like, subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Oh, did I already say that? Subscribe and share and hit that notification bell so you can see when I make a, uh, whenever I put it, put up and upload a new video. And uh, guys, just, it's all free. Doesn't cost you anything to like, subscribe, or share. So, so, if you feel it in your heart to do so, please, please, well, please do so. Uh, and again, my name's Tom with TNT and BH Gaming. And as always, guys, take care of each other. Love each other. God bless you. And we'll see you on the next one, guys.